Hey, what's going on YouTube? Crow Sama here. And we're going to be taking a look at a couple of things today in which it's not really Gunpla related. Um, I've been building my little kind of town, my little city, and the things that I've been, you know, picking up more recently is a lot of buildings. So obviously we're not taking a look at the Banshee, but he will be around just for some, uh, you know, references, scaling, and yeah, just a little decor. But we're going to take a look at all these little buildings from different brands. Uh, first brand we're going to take a look at is from the Preza line. So with the Preza line, I am actually super, super fond of this because of the fact that uh, you know there's a lot of destructive buildings and that's something I really want when it comes to these Gundam dioramas. I really want an environment that's just going to like show that there's a story playing you know right in front of you. There's a story unfolding. So with all these destructive buildings, you're like, oh, hey, there's an actual battle that's going on with this model kit or figure that's being reviewed right now. And I think that's really, really awesome and something I just really want Want to continue on with this channel now there are different buildings and the only ones i picked up was number four and number five uh but regardless i i'm, I'm going to try and pick up as many as i can and really flood this entire table with as many buildings as possible and not like super condensed but i really wanted to have a little bit more um depth to it i want the city to actually look a little more lively so with some of these buildings uh it, it's going to look a lot better so this company is also going to have this like gravel like all broken up ground which I think looks amazing I, I love the looks of it probably something you can easily make on your own but if you're like me and you really just don't want to you know sit here and start making your own like destructive gravel and all that um, this is a good alternative uh, I think I paid the same exact price around like 20 some dollars um, actually I, well for all these I paid a lot less I think I paid about 1500 yen uh roughly is like is that a thousand yen or 1500 yen because um, i was at a convention and that's where me and harry actually met the uh the owner of this company and that's pretty much i i, I would say that's probably how they got this uh in their actual stock over at new type hq so really awesome and the guy who you know i was talking with about this super friendly super nice and i know he has a lot more planned uh this is one of the more newer ones these came out in 2018 the buildings this one came out in 2019 but um yeah about the same price so let's crack this open and see how it looks and here you go in one box you are going to have five pieces ranging from like the small medium and large scale but they are really hard material um honestly when you're kind of messing with it it feels like it's really really like hard like i don't know hard clay or something uh, but the material is super fine and super detailed and will probably benefit from a wash as well but uh, let's just see how it looks when we place it all around the little area and as a battle unfolds, we can see that there already is some debris right there. And we got some turned over buses looking really good. I mean, this is something that if you just spray it all around and kind of just make it blend a little bit more within the environment, it's really going to look pretty damn cool. Uh, also got some bystanders, which we will actually talk about in a little bit later in this video. Uh, but yeah, you can put the gravel right at the feet and you know, kind of do whatever you really want with it. And right here in the background, we got another bus that just kind of ran up on some debris. Looking really good. 7-Eleven is intact as it should be because God bless 7-Eleven. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, this is looking really good. And once I get uh, a little bit more of the, you know, the groundwork kind of taken care of, a lot more of the... Um, all the streets i think it's gonna look way way better i need more cities to be in the forefront and not just in the background um because that's, got, that's something that's really going to help you i don't know just bring in the life of the city uh but right now it's still looking solid now with that line out of the way we're going to take a look at some other stuff which is from the tommy tech line and these are just going to be some miniature cars now there's a whole bunch of them i'm not even going to get into it there's buses there's cars there's construction vehicles um there's i mean i think there was tanks uh, there was like a bunch of different things like military vehicles uh, and these are going to be the one and 150 scale so these actually scale fairly well with like maybe the high grade line uh, you could probably get away with uh, scaling it up with the master grade line and maybe even some other mechas uh, But these are gonna be really cool. And I mean they're gonna be the real, you know life cars They're not like just some generic looking stuff like micro machines or even Hot Wheels uh, But you got Mazda you got Honda uh, Honda you got Toyota and Nissan so some really nice cars very Japanese uh, styled so I mean <laughs> If you was looking for American cars, this might not be the line for you. Uh, but I paid about, I think, almost 
that's like either 15 it was between 10 and 10 and 15 dollars i believe for for just this pack super expensive but i still think it's actually well worth it and also from the Tomix and Tommy Tech line is going to be large office building gray. Um, there's a lot of different office buildings. Uh, this is one of the ones I really like because of the scaling. It is just a huge, huge building. And it does appear there's a little bit of a assembly, either assembly required or just kind of showing you um, how to dismantle it. But I did pay a whopping about $25 for this. So that is a, that's a pretty penny, and um, I mean, it's really big, it's really nice, it's gonna go really well with this entire city. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> it is a big tower. And here it is out of the box, looking really good. And the cool thing about this is that each little compartment right here can actually separate, oops, um, you can actually separate both the windows and just the building itself. Uh, the bottom here can separate into multiple pieces as well. And you know, it has like nice glass. You got the entrance right there. Uh, another cool little feature is that underneath, it has a little piping system. So that way, if you wanna just get a light system going on in here, you could definitely do that. Um, and I do have the little mini light so this is something you can you know try and work a, you know work around it's gonna be a little bit tough and maybe you have to fill some of the front stuff with like some furniture and all that just so that way it doesn't look like super obvious the light is right here um, but you definitely gonna have to like you know do some kind of maneuvering to make this look uh, at least halfway presentable but I think it looks I think it looks amazing even just as is there's a lot of other things you could do to this and I'm just gonna show you right quick so I've only gotten two of the Tomix buildings and uh, the first one is actually the 7-Eleven in the corner and that one came with the same sticker sheet like this. Now the stickers are not pre-cut, you are going to have to cut the stickers out, um, which it's not as bad as you might think, it's a little bit more time consuming, um, but yeah, you could definitely take some of these stickers and if you want to just like, I don't know, because a lot of uh, buildings in Japan have like the, the you know screens and the monitors on it, so if you want to put like this like on the side and, and kind of have it replicate a a screen um, you can also put some of these like little items down in the bottom where the um, the lobby is and you're gonna have some clothes rack stuff right here you can put that on the outside so if you see right here there's actually items right inside here um, so if you want to put like the mannequin stuff on the back you can but there's also just some items you can paint and the lobby is looking really empty so if you want to fill that in with anything you could go ahead and you know make some stuff up you know cut out a little furniture set um, whatever you really want or if you can just buy it outright you can definitely do that as well And moving on to the Kato line, uh, this is going to be the miniature people. And boy, oh boy, are these things super expensive. I think this pack alone was uh, $10. Uh, so I bought one pack already that had, you know, like an elder man, had a person on a bicycle, and it also had like a couple of other little people. Uh, so sometimes you get a pack of like maybe six or seven, and then this pack is just gonna be three with just the people on the bicycle. Uh, these are gonna be business people definitely heading to work. Now one way I keep them standing because they're really, there's no balance. Um, this is something you're really gonna have to glue on your dioramas, but I don't wanna use actual glue, so I use Mr. Cement, and this actually works really well as adhesive to keep them uh, pretty much standing up. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. So I do hope you found this video at minimum informative, uh, if not at least entertaining. But I wanted to showcase a lot of different things that I picked up along the way uh, since I've been just going over to Hiroshima. It's kind of hard to find these things over here in uh, Iwakuni, so I try to make the best out of my uh, you know Hiroshima trips as often as I can. But these things are looking really good, and if you want to see me, you know, just making more videos about the expansion of my little city, you can definitely let me know in the comments section below. But I do think that these are going to be just amazing to have overall, and it's going to just pain me whenever I do have to actually uh, deconstruct it, because eventually I will move. 
but for the most part I do think these are looking super damn solid and really beautiful um, and it's just really bringing out a story so like I have right here um, this is Gundam Age just pretty much an entire battle right here on Earth or the colony uh, there's probably a 7-Eleven on one of their colonies um, but yeah nothing too special I, I gen genuinely do love the way that this is coming out and um you know if you can go to newtypehq.com you can build at least some of them from the uh, the first you know brand i went ahead and mentioned uh but if not then you know try and check on ebay the you know the brand shouldn't be too hard to come you know to come by uh, especially if there's a lot of train enthusiasts and if not go to some of these like train websites i'm pretty sure that they are selling uh, a lot of those um that's just my guess if there's a train enthusiast uh, website like a shop there's probably gonna be all these little managers but hey that's it for me guys uh definitely glad to start making video videos again and i'll be seeing y'all in the next video all right bye bye